Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Thursday, April 22nd, 2010. Well, folks, we have a flattish day on Wall Street again, and that's not the way it started. We had a brutal gap down and sharp sell right at the open, but as soon as you got to right around that 9.45, 10 a.m. Eastern time frame, the markets began to rally off their lows as volume lightened up. The dollar started to fall after initially getting a big, big gap up on the day on the back of more Greek worries. Moody's downgrading their debt rating again here, and sure enough, that caused a major little pop on the dollar, which forced those markets down early on in the day. But again, as I say, nothing seems to last on the downside in this market as the markets again have rallied back. Now, overall, the markets generally are still negative, but it's basically on the flat line at this point. The spiders again going right into gap fill, which everyone should know by now if you follow our videos, is major resistance on the upside. And again, gap fill should always be looked at as a scalping opportunity on the intraday charts. In fact, that is one trade that we just did a little while ago as well as you came up right here to hit it. So right there, there's your little scalp. See gap fill as it touches right here and see that red candle pullback. That's all you're looking for right there. Now still you're running into resistance right at this point of interest. So you could actually technically fall back down by the end of the day, but I wouldn't be looking to short this market more than just a scalp at this point. We've learned the lesson over and over again that this market will not fall. And sure enough, whether it's the PPT plunge protection team, whether it's the Federal Reserve, which could also be the PPT there, whether they're holding up the markets or it's just market activity right now, who knows? Either way, you have to step aside from a market that does not want to fall and just look for the short-term shorts, all right? Now, what do I mean by that? Well, anything like a scalp. Scalping is intraday day trading, and that's okay on the short side. We, we get nice moves off key levels, and that's fine to short. And sure enough, you can see the gap fill right up here still working out as a nice little shorting opportunity. But again, anything on the longer-term side until you get confirmation, which for my subscribers of the Research Center and Intraday Stock Chat, they know by now, I've pounded it into their heads time and time again, until you get that confirmation signal, which again, I'm not going to go into because it's technically proprietary information, but until you get that, you will not have a guaranteed top in this market. So we're going to continue to follow things over the next couple days, looking for that signal. When we get that signal, whether it's a day from now, a week from now, a month from now, we will finally know that the market may continue to roll over, but not until then. Now, what else do we want to go over here on the intraday stock chat, or in the intraday video, I should say? As the markets tumbled off of yesterday's move, notice this resistance line. This is something I had, I talked about in the nightly video last night to my premium members of the Research Center. Notice how you connect the high to the high, and it hits this point and hits this point. That's resistance. Sure enough, it worked out beautifully with the gap down today. So just being up against that, you could have assumed going into today, you would have a down open. Now, I didn't know necessarily it would have that big of a down open, but nonetheless, you can see the gap down today, a huge gap down. We fall actually all the way down here, and then that's all she wrote. Basically, you get a nice little tail here. You get a nice pop, 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 pop all the way up. You come up into this resistance line. Why is this good resistance? Well, you can see right here as well, this little pivot low matches with the pivot high. You hit that point. That's your sell signal. The market falls back down to this support area, bounces up, consolidates, then rallies sharply as the 20 moving average turns up right down there. We go extremely sharp to the upside. This is all on the back of a weaker dollar. The dollar started very, very strong today, but throughout the afternoon, it has fallen pretty dramatically off the highs of the day. In fact, almost at the lows of the day right now on the dollar. And that's exactly what's helping this market up. That and light volume. Look at the heavy volume to this morning as the markets were down near their lows. Right around here, excellent volume. Then look at the middle of the day as the market starts to rally up. How light is that volume right in the middle there? And sure enough, lifting the markets beautifully higher. Now, a couple other things to go over here I want to make clear. Number one, you have to, again, assume gap fill right here continues to be resistance. That's gap fill right up here. From that yesterday close, that's exactly what we just hammered into. That's a shorting opportunity, and again, a good for a scalp. But remember, you don't want to mess around with more than just looking for a scalp. If the market gets through that, then you could be moving up up till this pivot high. The pivot high would be 121. If you take that out, 121. 30 and then 121.55. Those are your next levels on the resistance side on the upside should this market continue to rally. On the downside, if you start to fall sharply, you don't have a lot of good support, to be honest, until you get down to this blue line, this blue line cutting across, and the 50, 20, and 200 moving average. The major support would be at around 120.15. 120.15 will be a tremendous amount of support on this market, and that would be take actually a 40 cent fall on the SPY right here if we were to come back into that range. So keep a close eye on that as well. We'll continue to keep you guys posted to see exactly how that plays out. 
All right, I want to show you the 60 minute because the 60 minutes exactly what I pointed out to the, my premium members last night to look for. And again, it held up beautifully and also giving them an idea if they were following the charts from last night, you could tell that this market probably wasn't going to break down after the first candle of the day on the 60 minute. Why? Because look at this candle right here. First candle comes down. This is the major level. See how you connected here? If I can move this back even more, look at this line stretches all the way back to mid to late March. So really a month old trend line we have not been able to break. And just the other day, we came out and close below it but for those of us that are again our premium members you know there was no confirmation of a break there below the line because there was no confirmation you have to assume the market could go back up it did went up and up and up then came back down today comes right to that same line pierces it and closes above next candle pierces closes above closes above closes above and then raises higher this line right now is the line in the sand to watch if you get confirmation below that line the market should continue lower if the market breaks there and confirms there look for confirmation on the daily then the weekly then the monthly very important to understand this because it's really key to understanding every major move in this market off of that confirmation in the money stock signal, a clear signal we've developed as proprietary indicator for telling us when this market officially has confirmed. And that's confirmed, guys. I mean, everyone could say market, we could say the market looks like it needs to roll over. We could say it looks overbought. We could say we think this, we think that. But until you get the technicals to tell you that, it means nothing. Always remember that, guys. Watch for the technical signal. That has to be looked at as number one. Again, everyone can have different thoughts. Everyone's making a call here and there. Watch for the direct signals, technically speaking. All right? So, again, notice how this line held up right here. And sure enough, what does the market do after it can't break down? It goes right back up, right to gap fill. That's right where we're holding right here. If we go back to the 10-minute uh, chart right here, if we get through here again, look for a continued move up, possibly as high as 121. 121 would be your next major resistance. And a good shorting opportunity, a scalping, I should make that clear, scalping opportunity on the market all right so that's what we're seeing there what stocks are carrying this market today I mean let's talk that a little bit about that what stocks seem to be lifting this market in a tremendous way well Apple computer on the tech side that's keeping the market up nicely and again look at the move up here late in the day uh, it's again closing in on 2 30 p.m. Eastern time right now but over the last two hours Apple computer has just soared green candle after green candle also amazon.com reports earnings today guys and look at Amazon up three dollars and change closing in on the hundred and fifty dollar level now Amazon's expecting to report I'm expecting I should say the analyst have anywhere between 60 and 70 cent of earnings potential here on this stock. I think you're going to look for earnings between 70 and 75 cents personally on Amazon. I think as long as they get above 70 cents, maybe towards 75 cents, the stock can maintain this value as long as Kindle sales don't fall on the iPad. If projections of Kindle sales are going to fall, this stock could get hammered. But again, if it purports 70 plus cents, and it shows that it has good go for, uh, for foregoing growth. In other words, future growth looks good on the Kindle and sales and projections look good. Then this stock could hold the gains. If you come in less than 70, 70 cents, I think this stock falls down pretty sharply, maybe losing as much as $10 um, in the after hour session today. So watch that very closely, guys. Again, I will be analyzing it uh, for myself and reporting it in the Research Center nightly video what happens here. This is going to be a big announcement because this is probably the top three to five uh, tech companies out there. Plus, it has a good influence on retail sales. Retail sales will be big with, with this as well, so we need to continue to follow that. Other stocks doing well. Goldman Sachs is up a dollar, but JP Morgan is down about 60 cents. Bank of America is having a pretty solid day here, up 19 cents. You can see how it's rallied off the lows as well. Chevron, Exxon are laggards today. They've been leaders in the past. They're laggards today, down about uh, 42 cents on Exxon, and Chevron's down about 67 cents. Taking a look at a couple other charts here, uh, Google down 5, Baidu's up 10. Good bounce on Baidu. Baidu uh, 650 should be a good shorting level again. Last time it got there, it dropped about $50 to 602. If it gets there again, I like it again for a possibility of a short. All right, uh, looking across the board, anything else I want to discuss today? Uh, small cap wise, there's some decent little movers here. You got Conalog, which has been one of our favorites lately. We've made that uh, three profits off that in the last month or so for 30%, 20%, and 20%. And again, you want to join the research center to get those hot charts and alerts. A good alert was put out on DAL, guys. DAL hit the target for a buy yesterday. And this again, this is a research center post in the hot charts and alerts. Hit the target to buy right down here, then spiked all the way up there. There's your nice, this was a one day play working out for a beautiful profit all the way up to about uh, 1280 about 70 cent gain off of that alert as well beautiful in the hot charts and alerts a one day play we try to post now giving guys some action each day to look for as a swing trade or intraday holding trade overall all right that's all for today folks have a wonderful rest of the afternoon join the research center join the chat room we'll see you there take care